down yet. And so, um, we, it's like our, our clock hasn't started yet. In my opinion, we, it's like our, our clock Oops. hasn't started. There we go. Um, like Washington's locked down. There's a few states that have locked down, but I was talking to a friend of mine in New Zealand and, um, he was appalled at what's going on over here because over in New Zealand, they haven't even had their first death and the country's locked down and they have a stimulus package in place. And, uh, I was like, he was like, I would not want to be in the U S right now. <laughs> yes. Yeah, same. I want to, I want to ditch. Um, what is the uh, page number by the way? We are on 3855. 3855, hell yeah. Uh, the, the smooch, the snoggin. All right, cool. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's been such a hectic week. Like, um, I had my friend Maggie in, in uh, t- uh, like, over where I live um, for a little bit. And uh, we, we did a whole bunch of things, but, like, because of the virus, everything was closed down and we couldn't go anywhere um they've never been to hot topic before and i really wanted to take it to hot topic because we're edgy little shits and <laughs> it was closed down now oh so that's sad i'm surprised they were able to travel during all this stuff yeah they they were kicked out of uh, their college um which sucked um so now they're going back to bulgaria um, sadly, they, they were only there for like spring break and we had already made plans, but as soon as spring break ended, they were like, they're, they're gone now. They're already back in, in their home country, Dang. which is, yeah. I have a friend from Bulgaria. Um, I remember. Oh, really? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> they probably like know each other. <laughs> Wait, who knows? Uh, oh, that's rich. Yeah. It's, um, it's been crazy. I think, uh, right now is mostly just, I don't, I don't know, man. Like I, I'm kind of advising myself and everybody to just kind of take it, everything a day at a time because things keep changing. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like I, I have to wonder if, you know, like right now at four fans, we're not accepting orders for a month. Like, Oh, yikes. Yeah. Well, we're accepting orders, but we're not, we we're not, we're not uh, gonna ship them. shipping anything. Yeah, there's like a notification that pops up on our site um, yeah. that when you go to you know order, they're like, cool, but we're not gonna be shipping until like the end of April. Um, so that's I don't a big know. yikes. Yeah, there's um, been a lot of big yikes in my life lately. <laughs> my uh, work counts as essential, so I still have to go um to work and everything like that and and that's good you know i'm getting money and stuff like that but yeah it's like good with a question mark at the end (laughs) next week i'm gonna be like probably staying mostly at home anyways because um i i don't work many hours like they they gave us so little hours between so many people that um they have roughly about 15 hours to split amongst um my rank of people oh right yeah so yeah. I'm I'm not going to be really working next week, and hopefully that means I doubt I can finish my projects I've had going on for four thirteen. Um, <laughs> but it'll give me time to work on everything else. So, but yeah, four thirteen's creeping up. Um, oh, my kid is yelling at me already. Um, as I don't know if you guys saw, but on four fans, we, dude, what, what's up? Hey, Pasa. What's going on, dude? What's the matter? Can you oh, show me? I hope the child is alright. He's fine. He just gets bossy. He's been extra bossy since he's been home. Oh, what all that cooped up nonsense. Right? What do you need? Show me, dude. I don't got time. What do you need? Oh, you want... Of course. Of course. He wants this movie. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Movie time. Movie time. Yeah, like, we're canceling Homestuck. Time to watch, movie. <laughs> time to watch Castle in the Sky for the 70,000th time. <laughs> no, I think Totoro's in here right now, actually. Let's turn this on. Uh, turn on. On, go. Oh, there's like crumbs all over it. Excelsior! Oh, it's off. On. There we go. All right. Don't mess with it, dude. 
Um, but yeah, in four fans, we actually pushed back our Homestuck fan forge. Um, oh, so sad. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about it, and uh, we ended up pushing it back. You can see. I did pull up the stream. Multi track Ghibli. Yup. Hell yeah, let's watch something that's actually going to make sense. Harsha. <laughs> <laughs> Harsha immediately abandons Homestuck. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah. fuck this shit. <laughs> fuck Homestuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tuesday, your kid was watching two Ghibli. Yep, he was. He was definitely. He is. He is. He is high level. Uh, <laughs> you ain't got nothing on this kiddo. Uh, yeah, but what you see we have updated all of our graphics. Um, it, it actually turned out really cute. So basically what we're going to be doing is pushing everything to 612. Um, and we'll have more to come about that. But it looks really cute. They did a really good job updating the graphics on here. Um, yeah, it's super nice. Yeah, but it gave... Uh, it's going to give you guys time everyone time to work on stuff while everyone's kind of stuck inside um, and give us time to get our operations back together. Um, I really love the uh, <laughs> the way the smiles are done. I hadn't seen that. It's <laughs> yeah. cute. They uh, did a really cute job. I actually really liked it. I was like, I gave them a little bit of direction. I was like, I want to kind of like this. And then they popped out. I was like, dude, that's awesome. Okay. Yep. You got it. Um, uh, and here's some of the new stuff just for everyone to check Ooh, out. Yeah. Uh, I... Oh, those those are so <laughs> cute. Oh. I love them. I love them. Uh, this really really cool Dirk. I oh my Dirk? god yes it's okay. it's a character it's a character. Yeah, I was like I, I think that's Dirk. <laughs> mm, I wouldn't say that's Dirk. It's more Question? so a character inspired by Kamina. I think that's the name from. Uh, from a girl login, so it's not a Homestuck character. Uh, but it's oh. A, I'm with you. <laughs> oh my! Which? Don't I don't know anything. <laughs> Make stuff up. <laughs> I'll just blindly believe whatever you be like. It's from uh the seventeenth arc of the fifth chapter of Homestuck. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, that is actually true. It is from the seventeenth arc of the whatever the fuck chapter. <laughs> uh, we have some. I don't. I don't know. So this actually Timaeus. That is probably the first thing I've seen in the Homestuck Fan Forge where I have literally n no idea what the reference is. Like, oh, I assume it, it's worry. Dirk related because of the glasses and the hat and the icons, but I don't know what the hell Timaeus is. No, uh, it, it, it means Toby Fox. That's Toby Fox's old hand. Don't lie to me! <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust anything you say now. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, somebody sent some cards in, which were cute. Uh, I really like those. Oh, yeah. Those are yeah, amazing. little class backed cards. Um, and this really realistic Vriska, which Ooh. it was really pretty. Um, the shading is really nice. Yeah, I thought it looked pretty. And I like these shirts, the shirts. Specific. Oh. Uh, they have the little... so creative. Like uh, yeah. you, you figure, like maybe run out of ideas, but there's always like so many different interpretations of what you can do for design, and it's so neat. Oh my god! Why is he yelling again? I'm sorry. He Hold on. He I know him. he's like, come back out here and watch Totoro. <laughs> It's Totoro time. Totoro? Fuck Homestuck. What are you yelling about? Oh, what is it with your foot lately? I'm I'm starting to not believe that you're stepping on something. I'm starting to believe. You just want me to kiss your foot. And you know that, the, that if you pretend you're hurt, I'll kiss your foot. Because you seem fine to me, and it's always the same foot. And there's nothing on here. Unless the foot falls off. And then you'll be like, oh no, <laughs> the kisses did not help at all. <laughs> <laughs> my medical kisses, my medical <laughs> advice was useless. Okay, I'm not just going to sit here and kiss your foot, but I love you. If you actually hurt yourself, please let me know. Alright, so where did we leave off in Homestuck? Uh, there was a lot. Really, uh, some makeout session was happening again. Yeah. yeah! Heck, chicka bow wow! I believe, okay, uh, I'm so worried about spoilers because I did miss last time. I was, I was unfortunately out of work, so I missed it. Um, but I believe something happened with Vriska. Uh, so 
This is going to flex my showing that if I was facing out the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, okay, so what I remember is that there was... Oh, wait, before I get started, I'm wearing my huge bitch shirt today. I remember... Oh, yeah. I remembered my huge bitch shirt. Um, I would say go order one, but don't. Wait till we're doing orders again. But order yeah, one later. Yeah, something happened with Friska. Oh, yeah. Friska... Friska got... <gasps> she got God Tier Dead. It's in my notes. Got it. Yes. Got it. <laughs> uh, clearly, these notes are needed. Jesus. Uh, that's right. She got stabbed by... <laughs> Who stabbed her? I don't remember. Who was it? How did she die? Someone stabbed her. It was... Was it Gamzee? No, it was no. not Gamzee. Damn it. Do you remember what her uh, death was? There's two types of uh, deaths Trezzy. you can get as a god tier. Yes, there you go. Oh, okay. She dead. Is she permanently dead, though? Oh, I think they... No. No, she's not. Okay, maybe I do remember this. Because there was something about... No. They were saying the clock, the tick tick, and the and how the thing moves. Where, like, yes. if you die as a god tier, it, it, it's like a, like, a, like a roll of the dice is kind of how I yes. understood it. Like, you might die, you might not, which is not great odds. Well, uh, I will say, uh, where we are now, no spoilers, uh, Vriska is, had a bad break, as it were. A bad so, break. <laughs> un unfortunately, Vriska is no longer with us. Oh, well, I'm not too sad about that for now. <laughs> <laughs> I think Vriska needs a timeout. <laughs> as it were uh what else yeah and then i guess all the other things that happened in a lot of what we just read god i have a lot of crumbs on my desk christ um is there was a lot of exposition there was a lot of um uh there was a lot that i couldn't follow um there was the mind fang sternal which I'm not even going to pretend to understand what's going on. I just start spacing out, to be honest. It's cool. The ancestors are cool, but I have a hard time. Um, Don't worry. <laughs> um, with It's funny because, like, um, you're reading as someone who is reading archivally, I believe that's the term. Like, mm -hmm. someone who's reading after it's already done. You don't get the pacing in the in the breathing time to really, like, take in the information. You're just kind of, like, being bombarded by Homestuck. <laughs> um, but don't worry, that's part of the experience. Uh, I promise you, and I can assure you that um, later on it'll it'll make sense if when you get time to breathe. So don't worry about it too much. That's good. That's okay. Cool. Because there was that, and then it went straight into. Oh, that's right. Then it went straight into this stuff with uh, Mister Mister. What did we, Mr. Crotch, is what we decided Mr. last Vanilla time. Milkshake. Yeah, somebody made a an add-on. I wonder if they ever finished it. It was a mod for or whatever for um for Chrome, where it changes everything. Yeah, Dick Crotch. They did. Did they finish <laughs> it? Every every uh, instance of the word. Oh yeah, because you weren't here. Every instance of the word. Um. Uh. What was the word? Uh, Dog scratch. Scratch. Every act. Every time they said scratch, it would say crotch, <laughs> and so like everything was like the crotch or doc crotch, or oh man. I'm that is hilarious. I ready. love that. I'm ready for that. <laughs> oh, that would be weird. Corencio says <laughs> yes, but would it be more weird than what we're dealing with right now? No. I Absolutely that. not. The answer is no. Um, okay, so we left off with... Sadness, yes, the sad yes, stuff. Yes, our sad... I, f I have this feeling with Homestuck that it's just going to keep being sad for yeah, a while. Yeah, you're in the sad stuck territory. Oh, that's appropriate right now. <laughs> hey, everyone, come cheer up watch Homestuck. We're going to watch kids die and people cry and <laughs> then go back to work. Uh uh okay so do you want to kick it off with uh who's this aradia uh briska briska um, oh my god why do i i always mix it 
how do I mix them up all the time? It's stupid. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, do you want to do the narration too, or do you want me to just like the voice the characters and stuff like that? Uh, you can do the narration, uh, and then we can just switch off on pester log stuff. All right, cool. I'll yeah. do I'll do the first guess then. Okay. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> I need warm up since getting here. So <laughs> my voice la, is la, rusty la, la, to start. La, la, la. <laughs> uh, let Let's just forget I said that. This isn't really how I wanted this conversation to go. I guess I was assuming you'd be taking uh, talking back by now. So now I'm just talking and they uh, talking and talking and spinning my wheel device like an idiot. Maybe I don't actually know how I wanted it to go. I guess I could just shut up and skip ahead on your timeline a little. Talk to you when you're alive. That makes sense. So. I guess I'll do that, but then maybe if I did, I wouldn't actually say what I wanted to say, so I'll just say it. Pardon me, while I just the narrow fenestrated wall, we don't want to see this bullshit, we don't oh, want to see it. Oh, no. no, no. no. <laughs> Aww. To be honest, I'm, I'm nervous about this fight, but I'm still going through with it for a lot of reasons. To save my friends, or... At least the ones who are still alive. Oh, and I guess to save reality itself from being totally fucked up? That's that too. But I think what's motivating me to win this fight the most is the possibility of getting to meet you when it's all over. Maybe I can finally put all this terrible stuff behind me and I won't have to worry about being the best anymore or proving what a ruthless killer I can be. Maybe I can try out whatever is supposed to be normal for a human. Who knows, it might not be as boring as it sounds. Maybe. If you're not too freaked out by all the bad things I've done, or the fact that I'm an alien, we could go on a date? What? Is she talking to John? Yes. Is she <laughs> shooting her shot right now at John? She's shooting her shot. <laughs> shooting her shot. What is this? Thanks, Twitch, for not notifying me of this. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> to redirect the view from the this imp propriety of oh, oh goodness hate snog oh god oh it's not christian anymore <laughs> ah! i didn't sign up for this don't worry it could be a human date whatever that entails no weird alien stuff i promise and no killing or murders or even talking about killing or murders and such just whatever you like to talk about and think is cool i could even be a i could even be persuaded to watch more of your absurd human films do you like any others which feature that rugged human <laughs> with the long hair and wounded arm? You know the one, the sweaty guy with the mutilated, <laughs> with the mutilated animal. <laughs> this makes you better. <laughs> it's the best description for Nick Cage. I'm sorry. The sweaty guy with the mutilated <laughs> animal and the speech impediment. Those would be tolerable to watch, I bet. <laughs> there. Well. Think it over. Before I go, I'll get in touch one more time later on, when you're alive and maybe have something to say about it. Oh yeah, sorry about your adult male guardian. I wasn't trying to be deceptive by not telling you. I decided not to, because I didn't want to be the one to make you sad about it. Was that selfish of me? I don't know. You would have found out regardless, like we all did. There were things we care about that we just have to leave behind. It just sucks for those who aren't in uh, as much hurry to leave it all behind as me. Wait, someone's coming. Hang on. I'm a wonderful chaperone as well as an excellent host. <gasps> Dave, Jade, oh. Oh, look at the frogs. <laughs> and she's wearing her fancy dress. Oh, oh, Riska. Oh, no. Yeah, she. We're reading the messages she already sent before, you know. For shoo, the big, shoo. the big ouch. Yeah. Oh God, she's wearing her RP outfit. What the hell is she up to, man? She's got her dumb dragon doll and everything. Guess she means business this time. Damn it, I've got to deal with this now. Anyway, if you actually get around to reading any of this, thanks for listening, John. If my outrageously great luck is any say in the matter, we will be meeting up in no time. Just please consider what I said. Okay, later. Oh, buddy. Tick. Talk. Tick. What do we got here? Clock? Oh, it's ticking. And talking. What is Vriska's fate? <laughs> I'd say leave it there. <laughs> Uh, 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 oh shit! Who just hit it? Oh shit, oh shit! Someone's... 
Is that... Is that you, Gamzy? Yes, it is Gamzy. I see purple. <laughs> it is on the games. <laughs> He's hitting the clock. Hey, who gave Gamzy access to the clock? Spade slick. Stop. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. What is spade slick? <laughs> Why are you lying to me again, Marcus? <laughs> <laughs> I I'm in the firm belief that it is up to the reader to interpret what's going on, and I just run with it. Oh, if right. If you make a conclusion <laughs> that it's not correct, that is on you. I oh, will that's just go with right. It. He's destroying clocks. I forgot. Mm -hmm. He has a, a clock thing. <sighs> Slick, I can tolerate many things from a guest. Curt manners. Egregious womanizing. Murdering the help. Casual arson. Even atrocious candy bowl etiquette. <laughs> but is the desecration of a priceless timepiece where I must draw the line? I'm afraid I must now insist that you take your beating quite personally. Break. Ooh, what's happening up here? There's lots of Daves. And the, the Jack and Jade. Huh. Oh, shit. Do you want to voice John? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, do you want to get pick up that rose? Uh, that is not a rose. That's not rose, but I thought T that is... T, T was rose. Uh, re well, remember that uh, a certain goth chick uh, was just um, murdered by uh, uh, a wolf dude. Oh, and that's is just John. Lying around. Okay. Uh. Briska, wait! Oh, wait. Are you alright? Yeah, he's fine. Briska, wait! Oops, hold on. Hey, are you there? I did what you said, but I can't tell if it worked. Hello? You didn't fly off to fight Jack yet, did you? I hope not. Anyway, all that stuff you said sounds fun to me. I have... Oh, heavens! I have hells of the cage flicks in my library. I do not even care that you're an alien. You see, Cage is the universal constant which unites us all. That's very true. Uh, well, <laughs> if you haven't flown away, I will look forward to your message in the future. It would be nice to talk about all this stuff that happened. Anyway, bye. Oh, God. Hey. Oh, my fucking hell. This is so insanely awkward and sad. What is? Hang on. Heads. Oh, wait, what's happening up here? Oh, shit. There's a lot happening up there. And he is getting hit. Very, very hard. Very hard with a book. Oh, we got hey. Car Cat. Car Cat! Was that you? Where is Friska? She. She what? Shit, I feel like an asshole for reading the whole thing. The what whole thing? You mean what she wrote? Yeah. Why are you snooping around her computer? Because, wow, okay, so let me ask. Did you both actually like each other? Um... Like, I mean, something vaguely resembling actual genuine mutual sentiment or whatever? Not some lopsided pining bullshit? What are you talking about? Did you like her, you windsock-headed shit mouth? Is what I'm asking. <laughs> well, yeah. Why? Okay. Uh, that's fine. Then we'll talk about it later. <laughs> Poor John. I feel like everyone's giving him just like the worst, uh, the worst news. Like your parents yeah. are dead. Your girlfriend's dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. This part had me so sad when I first read it. I was so <laughs> sad. <laughs> I, I am so sad. I'm so very, very <laughs> sad. So sad. So sad. <laughs> Talk about what? I need you to be able to think straight. We have important shit to go over, and I don't have much time. And so on. <laughs> Auto Whoa, Harley. Oh, he got uppercut. Does he always strap in? Oh, oh yeah, he's always strapping. Oh, shit. Alright, like what? Plans. What plans? 
Never mind that. First, get out of the fucking blackout to a place where I can see you. Leave now. I'll contact you in a while once you've landed. Landed where? Lohak, obviously. Oh, obviously. Well, how else do you think you're going to cause the scratch, idiot? Do you even have any clue what's going on? Wait, of course you don't! You're wearing pajamas and giggling at clouds like each one uh, like each one was shaped like the Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Rudest bit of naked anatomy a human can recognize. No, I'm not. I mean, yes, I am wearing some pretty nice pajamas, but I already know lots of things like about the tumor, which I have already recovered. Wait, I mean the tumor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, fuck. I mean oh screw it, you know, the big bomb and some other stuff that like that I am totally in the loop. Great! Awesome! Now get going! So I have to cause the scratch, huh? Okay, I'm done here. Talk to you in one second for me. One long, windy fucking journey for you! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's... Okay. Oh, okay, I, I don't know what the fuck... Okay. Hi. Oh, I see. <laughs> I, I'm stupid. <laughs> you let me down, Slick. Whoa, there's some serious shit going on up at the top here. Oh, yeah. Adagio Redshift? So, what that is, is called a frame motif. It's when they combine their aspect powers to do incredible feats. Oh, that's kind of like... Uh, what am I thinking of? What's it? Lay motifs, musically? Oh, no, but that probably makes more sense than where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, um, like, what are they... What's the game... God, what video game am I thinking of? Where, like, you have a power, and then somebody adds their power, and then it makes it cooler. God, that's a terrible description. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from that description, I could think of several RPGs that probably have something similar. Team Attack. Uh, not Wonderful 101, <laughs> but it is like it is like that, where like somebody throws down, like, let's say, fire, and then somebody else throws down, let's say, lightning. And then it it makes I don't know Persona. I think I am thinking of Persona. I think I am. That must be the last game that I played that was like that, where Bakugan, Bakugan. <laughs> <laughs> Avatar. <laughs> it is. I. It's probably Persona. What I'm thinking of. I know that functions in a lot of games. But hi, hey, what's up, Buttercup? You alright? Okay. You good? Okay. Jumanji. Jumanji? <laughs> Pokemon? Domino. Chrono Trigger? Golds? <laughs> Connect four. <laughs> but yes, I get I, I get the Yes, I get the the thing. Yeah, What's it's up, pretty Buttercup? neat. And what? there goes Spade Slick, he got his shit beat the fuck in. What? What honey? What? <laughs> yes, happy. You're yes, so Homestick cute. Homestick is a magical girl anime. You're absolutely correct. Oh, oh. he's so cute. I've uh, we've been working on the word happy, and so he he comes up and he goes, ah. Do it, do it honey. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so cute. I love the way he says that. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, Paul. Uh, yes, this is Paul. Is a friend of mine in real life. Um, Hello. Yeah, I posted that I was streaming in my. Uh, what do you need? In my Facebook. What? I'm gonna get back to work, honey. Unless you actually need something, other than my love. Which I will have for you more later. Yeah, you have uh, waffles on the table. So go eat those, please. And probably blueberries, unless you eat those. Can you go eat your waffles? Go eat your waffles. Waffles. If I go out there and there's waffles on your plate, I'm not going to be happy. Go. Okay. Uh, where do we leave off? Uh, yeah, Spade Slick got fucked up. And someone has some very inappropriate photo collection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, it's a very interesting piece that that book there. Um, let's get down to business. My throat is going to fucking kill me later. <laughs> Poor car cat. Car cat fucks everyone over. <laughs> uh, aren't you going to ask me how my journey was? 
No. It was long and windy, but a lot of fun. I really like flying. It's so much fun. Oh, I bet it's just the biggest fucking blast a guy can have without a pair of shame globes secured in his two trembling fists. You haven't tried it? Every douche got to fly, but me. Even the even the the Tabros. Even the Tabros. <laughs> I fucking guess. Uh, wait, is that the guy who Friska killed? Oh God, you actually know about that? You know what? I give the fuck up trying to understand you in her. <laughs> He's like, so you know that she killed Tabros <laughs> and crippled him, but you still well, love hot, her. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got this weird Yon Yon Dairy vibe that he's into. John's 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 a freak. Uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> why? <laughs> uh Egbert, god damn it! Will you shut your mouth and listen? Okay, but is something wrong? What? A while ago, you talked to me, and it sounded like you were in danger, and it sounded... Sounds like some people died, but you never told me what happened. Then I got distracted by a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah, something is wrong. Or was a bunch of us died at the end. I don't really want to talk about it. Oh. Are you sure? Yes, and not just because, oh, the clock is rapidly ticking down to something we're calling the critical moment. And no, I don't know what that is. So close, you're... Uh... You're reeking question, guys, before I... It, uh, la, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm your friend, aren't I? Oh, God. Well? John, I can't handle talking about it, okay? I just got done uh, dealing with Gamzee, and I'm feeling pretty emotional about it, so please, no. Who's Gamzee? Oh, John. <laughs> You're so behind. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who's Gamzee? Who's my best friend? Uh, oh, was. Was. Was he really? Yes. Really? Gamzee was Karkat's best friend? Yes. Oh, you need to pick better friends, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> but Gamzee's so good, I love him still. Oh. I love him more. I love him. No! <laughs> <laughs> Salix would be. In first, Karkat sums up. What do you need? Did you eat your waffles? <laughs> I'm gonna go check, and they better not be there. Let's go. Let's go look. Let's go look. Cause I hey, can't... chat, what is your opinion on French toast? Would you say it's pretty good? Ooh. Do you like it? Waffles! You have waffles and blueberries sitting here. Did you... Oh, you uh, need some... What do I think? Oh, man. I think, uh, piece of shit. That's about it. <laughs> Wait, what's That's... a piece of shit? Uh, don't worry about it. You'll get to it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Give me some more juice. French but toast yeah. is the shit. I like I like the way that they're written. I think they're really good uh, in, in how they're written, and I hate them for good reasons. You know, that's about it. That's all I'm gonna say without like taking over uh, the chat with epilogue things. But see, Gamzee was the most chill dude. He was a really chill dude. That's true. Yeah, I love games. I still love games. Oh my god, I have so many thoughts on games. I could spill out for eternity about my love for him. <laughs> I started drawing a Mr. Bucket. I didn't get very far, but I did this to remind me because I wanted to draw a uh, sex god Mr. Bucket, but like with like <laughs> sex god Mr. Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> it's from uh from uh from what's uh from. Uh, uh, what's his face? His stream, um, uh, Rev. Rev stream, yeah. And so I like drew this bucket to remind me, but I wanted to make it look like a like a flash tattoo design. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, but then, oh my lord, yes, Rev. The official Homestuck Twitter tweeted that too. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Rev yesterday, and I hooked him up with Aisha. Reminder that Rev sent the official Homestuck Twitter. That's funny. Uh, okay. Um, oh yeah, really? I thought Terezi was your best friend. Or wait, maybe she was your girlfriend. I forget. My fake pan, it hurts. It is presently threatening to make its bitch, uh, make me its bitch, John. Is that what you want? Do you want your cool alien pal to become the bitch of a raw, throbbing fake pan? Such as the scenario before us? Sorry, I don't mean to be nosy. I just want to know some things about your situation. I'm concerned. 
Ugh, fine. Gimsy was my very good friend who was this goofy, lovable, bullshit clown until he went psycho and killed some people. I liked him a lot. I don't know. I guess my best friend is really just the guy who I have happened to be feeling most sentimental to at the moment. Is that a fucking crime? <laughs> no. I think I know how you feel. So, he killed some people, and then what? So, then I, uh... It's okay. You can tell me. John... Trust me, you wouldn't understand. It's just a troll thing. Humans wouldn't get it. You might think I was a shithead, and I can't deal with that now on top of everything, so let's Aww. drop it. I love Kirk. <laughs> I know, hmm. he's so good. Okay, if you say so. Oh, I can't believe I almost forgot. I've been dying to know since I left the battlefield. Do you know if Rose is okay? Oh, John, come on! <laughs> did it work? Oh, wait, did what work? The kiss. Oh, that's right. He kissed her, kissed the corpse. I thought I could rely on you of all people. Doof. Uh, oh, oh, she's shooting Jack. Oh, Jade. Oh. Oh. What are these weird shots of Rose? So. Some of these things are screenshots uh, and snippets of things that have happened in the comic, and some of these are panels that we don't get to see. Because currently, um, it's a weird thing wherein the disc is scratched. We are missing out on disc two certain things. Oh. Um, so we don't get to see these parts. These are kind of like, eh. So like Rose waking up right there. She's fine. We saw John leaving off to go to the scratch and everything like that. Um, but they're not in the order of what Homesick was supposed to go in, if that makes mm, sense. I getcha. I like yeah. this it's one a bit of an here. Intermission. In the upper right with the blood and the hand. That's a cool yeah. picture. <clears throat> She's fine. She woke up alive on Durst. Really? That's the rules, John. You kiss a dead player in time, and their dream self takes over, assuming they still have one. Oh, wow. It's incredible you reached God to your status without even understanding the more mundane resurrection available. Wait, your unfailing cluelessness makes it the opposite of incredible. My mistake. So, I guess it would not have worked on my dad, then. Or Rosa's mom. No, but that is exactly what I wanted to picture happening behind the black curtain, John. You snogging up your dead hate, uh, hatted man, Lucis. Thank you for that mental image. A rose's adult woman, Lucis. Maybe a dead woman sweeps your senior. It's more your cup of sauce, since apparently you are not homosexual. Whatever that even means. Not even to speak of your race's absurd qualms with their notion of incest. Which, again, still sort of wondering how that can even be a thing. Uh... Is that your game, Egbert? Have you had your eyes on Madame Lalonde? Have you been waiting for a convenient resurrection opportunity, but uh, to bust out your passionate smooch, smooch motifs? Uh, <laughs> kept in reserve and in front of her dead female offspring, no less? Just shameful. Well, she is a very pretty lady, but that seems like a really inappropriate thing to think about, Carcat. You don't say! What are you even talking about anymore? I don't know. I'm frankly pretty upset about finding them dead in the magic castle, and I guess I was wondering aloud if something could have been done. Or at least maybe to talk about it without angry Skyrake being involved. Oh yeah, Sky Player uh, pointed out uh, John's first kisses with the groups. That is very sad. Oh, that is sad. It <laughs> grows. <laughs> exactly! You are embarking down tragedy lane, and we've got to sta uh, stamp that garbage out! We can't have you getting all more oats while we've got so much iron- Ah! So many irons in the fire! Fuck, loaded phrase, forgot I said that. Just clam your shit up and forget your stupid guardian, like I did with my dear crab monster custodian, who I adore in no way whatsoever! You're being a douche. Wait, what am I saying? You're always a douche. <laughs> yes, thank you! <laughs> Your dad was a crab monster. Shut the fuck up! We were talking about something important! Rose, remember? Yes. She's waiting on Durst for your bomb to be delivered. It will arrive safely a little later. Oh, great. How do you know it gets there? Jade told me. To do what is you uh to do what it is you do best. Doodly firearms and uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Look up. Uh, oh, oh, wait, what? 
is she oh she's shooting Dave oh what it's like a port one like a portal mm-hmm oh Dave we got images of oh him dying. that's that one oh he's dead or is he oh he's got yeah he's got the holes in him and because remember, when your uh, awake self is, is dying, um, you only have so much time before you can resurrect them, but the injuries of your, your dying waking self will reflect on your dream self. Oh, so that's reflecting what's going on up here. Mm -hmm. Ay, ay, ay. These kids are not safe. No. <laughs> uh, I'm <laughs> going to take it easy on the car cat boy. <laughs> Big goof. Uh, uh, Jade from further ahead on your timeline. My piece of shit clown bro makes everything terrible here. She and I were hammering out these plans. I talked to her across pretty much the full spread of our timeline. Just the scratch start. Uh, ah, starts. And the feed cuts out. So I have a sense of the whole picture here. And it's my job now to put some things into motion. That's cool. It's nice to hear you're working together. I should pass her Jade and see what she's up to. You should sit your ass tight and do the fuck what I tell you the fuck to fucking do. <laughs> the fuck to fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyway, she and Dave do a lot of frog breeding, accelerating the process significantly by exploiting time travel, with help from me and Kanaya, since we were in charge of frog duties in our session. Frog duties? Wait, which one is Kanaya again? Don't interrupt! I'm following a train of thought! Okay, Kanaya's one of my other best friends, and she was the hero of space like Jade, which means she's the stoker of the church, and is basically in charge of frogs. Which sounds stupid, I know. You breed the right frog to make the universe you want to make, which is a long, arduous process, and I kind of fucked it up in the my, ah, my game. But that's a whole other story, which I'll get to later, okay? Wow, okay. She and Dave ran into Jack, which I'm sure he must have saw coming, because I've never seen anyone exploit time travel so shamelessly as him. Not even Aradia. Aradia. Just another dead troll. Who cares? Mm. Stop frowning. She was already dead before she died. <laughs> <laughs> so she and Dave fought with him for a while. Long story short, he died. What? But it's fine. I guess that was his plan, like doing bizarre, useless last stand. Even if he didn't tell Jade, who was pretty freaked out until I talked to her, uh, her through it. Did she kiss him too? You were not supposed to kiss her, uh, Mr. Noir. Kiss her, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to kill her. Bum, bum, ba. Whoa. Wait. Oh, it's. Oh. And all the different people being kissed. Aww. But, okay, so. A couple things. <laughs> just just for this. For, for reading this panel with, with Scratch. Um, Scratch is the. Uh, the head guy. The brains of the operation for the felt. And Snowman is a member of the felt. And if you kill Snowman, what happens? Wait, repeat that. Uh, Scratch is the brains of the operation when it comes to the felt. And Snowman is a member. She's the eight ball of the felt. And if you kill her, what happens? Mm, I don't know. It's something to do with the <laughs> universe. Uh, uh, it, 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 it ends? <laughs> yes. She's the eight ball. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, so she's because she's the eight ball. It ends the, it ends the game essentially. Don't worry, I'm I'm here to help. I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah. Doc Scratch is telling Spade Slick to go shoot Snoo uh, Snowman, Snowman, uh, and kill her. So shit's going to get real, perhaps, baby. Oh, that's why he's giving her the gun, but he's got the eight ball in his in his head. Mm -hmm. Uh, Snooman. <laughs> Snooman. I think it was only mentioned offhand in the intermission. No one remembers that the first time through. <laughs> yeah, so don't worry. You, you could have saved her, my Mr. Police. <laughs> Death beyond canon. Uh, Snooman. Snow. Snowman. Think of literal pool. Oh, okay. I like this, uh, <laughs> this corpse smooch. Yeah, you know, just a bunch of 13-year-olds kissing corpses, you know. Yeah, no big deal. No biggie. 
Homestuck is PG-13, trust me. <laughs> I like Jay's <laughs> face, like, uh... Yeah, right there, while Jack watched like a fucking creep, but it worked. Oh my god, Karka, it's like your shitty shipping grid is coming true before our very eyes. <laughs> Remember when you made that ugly thing? Haha, <laughs> everyone's dead, John, and you're fucking laughing and making fun <laughs> with a fucking imbecile. Who gives a fuck about shipping or my ludicrous strong hang uh, string hold over all topics concerning romance? I'm still talking. He woke up alive on Durst and met with Rose. That was the end of the line for the Alpha Dave. To my knowledge, he doesn't time jump after that. And he and Rose stay on Durst waiting for the bomb to start the scratch. But I can't see either of them because of the blackout lingering around Rose for whatever fucking reason. Nobody knows what's up with that. Regardless, his job is to plot a curse. Ah, uh, la la la. Course, with the ring to find the sun. When he does, either he or Rose will deliver the bomb. I don't know which. Now leave and never darken my door again. Oh. Oh, where did he put him? Somewhere. Somewhere? <laughs> There's Gamzy. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I love him. Jade kissing. It's crying so. Jade. <laughs> yeah. And whatever the fuck this thing is in the lower right hand corner. Uh that is the statue of Jade's Denizen. Oh Akinda, the mother of monsters. Dang. What's that? oh it's a there's a ruler from <laughs> The One Yard or <laughs> the Yard, whatever. Uh but now they don't have dream selves left. Whoever goes will be risking their life for good won't they that would be logical extension of those facts yes this is unacceptable couldn't i do it i am apparently immortal because of this god tier business so the bomb probably would not kill me okay but don't you think there's a remote possibility that going on a suicide mission to save all of reality would count as a heroic death hmm, maybe i could try to be not all that brave while i do it <laughs> You asshole, of course you'd be brave. That tends to be what happens when you're really fucking courageous. Yeah, I just don't want to lose anybody else, that's all. That's just how it is. I've lost friends for way more pointless reasons. You're all out of options here. You'd be risking death just as much as they would. And they better, and they're better qualified to handle their mission as the Durst Dreamers. Jade's dream self is dead too, so she's out. Or to be more specific, her dream self is, <laughs> is an overly emotional dog who went off whimpering somewhere. I'm pretty sure she'll be completely useless. Oh, yeah. She mentioned something about that. She said she prototyped her dream self? What happened with that? She doesn't like to talk about it. Kind of a sore subject. Why? She thinks she's a selfish and completely hysterical and I guess hates that part of herself she represents. But I mean, the thing is, she spent a long time being dead and moving on. It's not like you could just bring somebody back and expect them to give a shit about all the stuff you think is important. I've tried to tell her that her, her sprite self is probably nowhere as ah, la, near as despicable as she's making her out to ah, la, 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 <laughs> making out with herself to be. I mean, making herself out to be. You know what I mean? Mm. Look, I'm just saying we've got all. Ah, la, 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 the figure of goddamn speech. Raises eyebrows? <laughs> Put those back down before my hot acid rage breath burns them off your idiotic face! <laughs> okay, I'm putting them back down as not suggestively as possible. What were we even talking about? Was it this, whatever this is? What is what this is? It's nothing, you shit. It's, <laughs> it's been this conversational equivalent of us snort barrels while touching each other inappropriately. Was... was that another weird erotic slip of the tongue? No, that was me being worked up into the ridiculous fucking con uh, conniptions and saying something inflammatory. God, how does that not be clear by now? Okay, well, what I'm getting from this, aside from the possibility that Jade may or may not have kissed Dog Jade at some point, is that neither of them will be able to help with the bomb plan. 
That's exactly right! The pajama pro uh, progeny used his puzzle sponge today! Besides, Jada's responsible for other important parts of the plan. For one thing, you'll have to wait for her to stay- ah, Send you the quills! You can't scratch the Mesa without them. She got them from her denizen, or will later on her timeline. Now that she lit the forge and woke the monster up. Aren't those the really tough to kill guys? Yeah. Did she kill him? Hell if I know, her, expl <laughs> her explanation of the entire encounter boiled down to, and I quote, shenanigans. <laughs> Lime for infuriating vague. Ah. Uh, whatever. Anyway, after she gives that to- Ah, oh, la la la, oh my god. <laughs> Kirk, it's killing me, oh my god. I'm going to die this stream. This is the last This is the, <laughs> this last, is the I... last Marcus stream as he <laughs> passes away from Karkat. Anyway, after she gives that to you, she has to go through with the rest of the plan, which is making sure you all survive after the- Minus one of the Durst streamers, of course. The plan revolves around some really baffling, hand-wavery, mumbo-jumbo, which I don't really understand. But she told me to trust her, and- about it because the info comes from a reliable informant. <laughs> Writing for Smug Tool. It involves something to do with a yellow lawn ring. Which isn't a human word for it. It's just your word is so dumb I feel dumb saying it. Word for what? I guess your entire escape plan somehow privates critically around an unwatered piece of residential property. It doesn't matter what it means. Jade says she has this figured out. And I don't uh, have time to do so much but to trust her. To the point, it, ah, la, la, the point is, she's all booked up and all too mortal, so she won't be delivering the bomb, neither will you. Okay, well, what about this? Since she is mortal, and I am not, well, sort of, and I don't need to do the scratch for a while, can I go help her? Maybe she could use some protection. Maybe that is what Dave was trying to do when he temporarily died. Remember, Jack is still on the loose. He has killed Rose and Dave once, and me twice. No, 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 sweet bleeding jigus egg Britain keep bragging about your immortality and then brainlessly plans to go off and do something heroic. You're going to have the shortest lifespan. Sorry. Besides, it's a total non-issue. Jack wouldn't hesitate to stab you again, but he won't hurt Jade for some reason. If anything, you could use her protection. Really? I never noticed it when looking through her timeline earlier. It wasn't until I talked to her through time frames and she told me. He just keeps following her around. You can see him off in the distance in some frames, just lurking there, shadowing her movements. It's incredibly disturbing. Her, he lingering, ah, he lingers around her until the scratch begins, and I lose a feed, never once doing any, uh, anything threatening. She says she thinks it's because Jack inherited loyalty for Lucis. If she's right, I guess Lucis really did offer her the most per, uh, protection possible, but prototyping itself, I'll be by dooming us all, the idiot. Ah, uh, that's actually kind of cute. Sadly, he holds no such loyalty to any of us. He regards us all as uh, ripe for the repeated skewering. Oh, fuck. Maybe we should have all just dressed like Jade? I can't believe this stroke of genius will occur to me now. I don't think he would be fooled. Dogs have a pretty good sense of smell. It was a motherfucking joke. <laughs> I feel like John's like... Uh, <laughs> he's really dumb. Like, he, he, he just... Like, everyone's kind of dead, and he's just whatever about it um and then on top of that uh it's it's like he doesn't have any appropriate reactions to anything like no nothing he doesn't understand nuances <laughs> I, I have some feelings about john yeah john john is definitely a character who seems to struggle with, like dealing with trauma <laughs> so <laughs> just, john is very dumb john is a mood <laughs> we look at this mess Oh, by the way, Melisong, yes, I am wearing your shirt. Welcome! Um, and it's awesome. Did you see it? I'm very excited about it. Um, <laughs> I was going to actually print it all right, too. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks fucking cool. I can't wait to wear it outside. <laughs> During the quarantine. Like, uh -huh. hey, everyone, a huge, a huge bitch over here. I'm a bitch. And I'll be like, ugh, inappropriate. He 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 ho ho ha ha. <laughs> oh. Ooh. We got John. The shipping chart. Some trolls. Oh, that's earlier. And car cat. 
and <laughs> big dick crotch energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big dick crotch energy. Um, I feel like every time my my throat hurts or like like I sniffle, I'm like. <gasps> Uh oh, somebody's got something dangerous. I know, uh -oh. I get like freaked out. Um, <laughs> oh, speaking of which, sidebar. So I went out to the grocery store yesterday because I had to pick up a few things. And I contacted my friend and I was like, oh, do you need anything? And I picked him up some like uh, vitamins for him and his roommate. And I picked up like a few things he needed, like garlic and some some juice and just enough for like a small bag of groceries. But I probably spent like 20 bucks on him and um, 25 bucks. Left him on his front porch, called him, told him they were there. And I guess he just like left them out all like for a few hours because he was worried about it and about the germs coming back from the grocery store, but then was going to come get him later. Went out to, oh, and I gave him leftovers from my dinner at the previous day. Like, uh, my the this girl's been staying with me, this woman. Um, it's a friend of mine, very good timing. And she made some green chili uh, stew. So I put some of that in, like, my nice Tupperware, put it in there with some tortillas. Um, turns out someone stole it off his front porch. Like, literally, oh, no. like a bag of groceries somebody it's stole. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the fuck? So, this really fucking shitty. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I was pretty... And he was like, what did he say to me? He said something like, you need to start thinking about yourself instead of other people. And I was like... <laughs> okay, thanks, dude. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I'll do that. Um, you need to be more of an asshole, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Not the good Tupperware. I know, it was the good Tupperware. It was like this... Really cool, like, Pyrex Tupperware, or I don't know, it's like these cute little bowls with, it, it was nice Tupperware. It wasn't even Tupperware, it was like, nice, nice stuff, so, I was pretty, well, it's time to start a club. Wait, a club? Is the club, uh, like, by club do you mean literal club? And do, by that do you mean start putting bait out on my on his front porch and then hiding in a bush and waiting to see who comes and takes it and then clubbing them. What do you mean the club like Gamzy? Yeah. Into Gamzy this. Maybe that's the next one. Just like yeah, put like a maybe we'll just do bait next time and I'll just wait in the bushes. And uh But who steals a bag of groceries? Like it was literally uh, that's awful. With the pandemic going on, can you really blame being like, oh shit, free shit and Running off. But like, like oh, right off crazy. someone's porch? That's fucking wild. Yeah, it is pretty asshole-ish. Because you had to go through his yard, up onto his porch. Like, that's bold. Like, that's... Oh, have you ever watched any of those porch pirate videos? Like, some guy, he made, like, it was a NASA engineer, and he made, like, a box that spritz glitters. And so oh, he was I on people's saw porches and that! Shit. And, like, I opened it, and it was like... <laughs> And it had a camera. It's so fucking cool. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm very... I Maybe it's just... I'm like super... Yeah, super an naive. Engineer. An ass engineer. And fart spray. Oh, that's Engineer's right. ass. People still... Oh, hey. And there are... Anara. I, people sell boxes which could contain anything pretty regular. That's crazy. It wasn't even a box. It was like a, a bag of... Gro I don't know. Maybe I just... I'm so naive and I so don't understand things about the world that like I'm maybe always... you're john kin i know kin. maybe i am john kin fuck like maybe i'm <laughs> <laughs> i'm just this naive like everyone's basically good <laughs> and i'm not going to survive the apocalypse guys like i'm going to be that person who's like the they first wouldn't to steal go. my groceries wouldn't their mom get mad at them <laughs> right yeah like oh you know this person just needs a ride they're just they're not sick you know, they just they just need they just need a little bit of money. IRL loot boxes. <laughs> oh, just come back to your hometown. You can bunker down with us. Oh, yeah, yeah. I I right now I'm bunkered down. I'm actually very thankful that a friend of mine came to stay with me, like right before this started. It was just serendipitous, um, that she needed somewhere to stay. And, uh, because she had to move out of her house and she's like, can I stay on your couch? Now she's stuck here. And, but thank God, like fucking, I don't know what universe 
like ticked in the right direction, tick tocked in the right direction. But like, if it weren't for her, it would just be me and the kiddo. And that's it. Like anytime I'd go out to the store, I'd have to bring the kid and he would touch everything. Like we would definitely get sick because then at that point he'd be touching everything and I can't stop him from touching things and touching his face. Um, I don't know what I'd do. I'd have to get really creative. Maybe like stick him in a sling or something. I don't know. Or remove his hands. Yeah, I know. I don't like maybe just cover his hands in plastic wrap while he screamed the entire way through the grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> Straight jacket. Yeah, dude, I don't know what I, I would have been fucked. But now at least she can stay home with him while I make runs to the store or she makes runs to the store and I'm doing, you know, we're doing okay on stuff, but I digress. But yeah, I just had to share that like crazy. I couldn't believe someone stole food off someone's like groceries man like i get like an amazon package or something because you're a selfish piece of shit but like groceries like you assume you'd look in that bag and be like wow this just has food in it like that someone might need you know like it has garlic and you know but no, I will vitamins to be the worst kind of person imaginable today that is... and just steal these bare essentials oh i hope they get corvid 19 and then they seclude themselves so they just stay sick by themselves and don't get anyone else sick but they're really miserable and 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 <laughs> and, and, and then they, and no one comes to help them because they're mean and they don't deserve it if like some some of friends of theirs like leaves groceries and then you steal them back yeah and who would <laughs> steal uh food they might have been hurting you know what steven get out of here with your altruism <laughs> i <laughs> That's no, okay. we're assholes this stream. We will be me. <laughs> okay. You're no, nuts. don't leave Steven. Don't leave Steven's. No, Steven, stay. <laughs> Steven's good people. But you, know, that is actually one thing I did think was that I was like, okay, fine. If you stole food, you must really need it. I hope that green chili stew burned your mouth off because it was very spicy. So <laughs> I hope that they had really rough poops later. Um, and I hope they have no toilet paper to wipe it. And no toilet paper. No, they probably stole toilet. This is probably the same person who probably stole some toilet paper. <laughs> Fair that, enough. That's for sure. Okay, uh, let's get back to <laughs> Arsha. <laughs> let's get back to this. Summarizing topic. the conversation. Anyways, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, boy. it doesn't matter anymore. If we can ride this out for a little longer until the critical moment and Dave Rose can destroy the sun, Jack shouldn't be a threat. Conveniently, if they are successful, that will signal the beginning of our own escape plan. What is your plan? Apparently, the explosion will be so huge, it will be visible at a great distance throughout the furthest ring, even from different sessions, like yours and ours. You won't get to see it because the, by then, your session should be wiped out by the scratch. But we will. The plan is to use it as a beacon and travel there as a rendezvous point. Rendezvous with who? We've got people there. That's just what Jade tells me. Uh, Jade knows so many things lately. What is even her deal? Hell if I know. This is basically dream intelligence. Every time she goes to sleep, she has some more to ramble about. She says I should go to sleep to find out, but I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to be napping between making all these plans and getting per uh, persecuted by these demented honking asshole? So yeah, we'll meet in the aftermath of the explosion with our people on the inside, or I guess I should say outside. I don't think they can come up with us, though. Come with you where? Who are they? Dead people. As for where, it's not like we're going to stick around uh, there forever. They'll probably be depressing since we're not fucking ghosts. The scratch will boot your session in your whole universe, actually. So somewhere in this dreadful abyss, the new <laughs> session will stri ah, la, la, la. start up in its own insiposphere from scratch. Look at that, another uh, pun because of using that fucking word every other sentence would kill me now. I guess we should I should say crotch instead because um, <laughs> Miranda looks like it's his crotch, but whatever. <laughs> but that from crotch uh, fuck, uh, nah, session is what you're shooting to survive. The idea is you all to prepare yourselves by escaping there. Through the lawn ring? Yes. Once you're there, you will help us find w our way there too. And then we can all finally figure out what the fuck to do with the rest of our lives. Oh, so then this is how we're supposed to meet. That is kind of exciting. Yeah, I guess. If enough of us are alive by then. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm almost teaching us how to wipe our bottoms. Uh, 
Can I turn that down a little bit, home skillet? I don't need to hear Elmo wiping his butt that loud. There you go. Uh, oh, so then, the, oh, sorry. So I guess you're not worried about it turning into a huge sloppy makeout fest anymore. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Ha ha ha, John. You and Briska better keep your hands to yourselves or everyone's going to be really uncomfortable. No interspecies funny business, is that clear? Ah, uh, I'm, conceiv uh, I'm convincingly flipper out of my shit, my fuck. My <laughs> well, yeah? <laughs> I'm dying. Uh, I'm convincingly flipping my lid about this, waving my arms around a lot, and making a best yelling faces. Wow, look at that! It's time to change the subject again. Huh? Poof! Subject changed! If it works and you wind up in the new session, that's uh, why it'll be important to make sure one of the Dirt Streamers stays with you, so they can help guide us from the ring. Won't there be other players in the new session? Like, alternate universe versions of ourselves or such? Probably, but those chumps won't know anything about us, or all our plans. Why would they? Yeah, it's just kind of a weird thought. So out of everything we just talked about, this is the thing that you say they've stripped your globes. Whatever you say. But I guess it's sort of comforting, too. If Rose or Dave have to go off and die, at least I get to see them again, in a way. Even if I will only be alternate Universe John to them. Maybe my dad will be alive in that session, too. Oh my god, no. Okay, maybe, but before you get too excited about that, you've got to make sure you've got there first. Which means you have to do what I say and stick to the plan. You need to focus on getting ready to start the scratch. The game doesn't make a hard reset that easily to pull off. Once you initiate it, the game throws everything it's got at you. Which is one reason why you're the best guy for the job. Because of your superpowers and silly windy bullshit. Okay, I'll do my best. What should I do right now? Get prepared. Make all the equipment you think you'll need. Stay out of trouble. Wait for Jay to send the code, wait for me to contact you for the first time, and do your best to humor him while he ignorantly attempts to flame you back in the puddle of slime you crawled out of. Please. Oh man, our first conversation ever? I can't wait. Yeah, but I can- can I just say something in my defense before that happens? I don't actually hate you. I never did. I was deluding myself. Deep down, I'm sure I always- <laughs> Deep down, I'm sure I was always pretty okay with you. Thanks, Carcat. It wasn't a fucking compliment. <laughs> the scrapbook is now in hopeless disarray. Feel free to examine the clippings while I tidy. Ooh. Click the panels. What uh, do you want to click? The red one. The red one. All right. We're getting some good territory. Ooh. Who do you want to be? Uh, I will be Rose. All right. Here's one for you. It's a whopper. Are you ready? For what? This huge fucking whopper I'm about to just say. You mean a canard of behemoth? Behem what? Be be behemothic? Mm hmm. Be fucking words. Behemothic embellishment? What? <laughs> or was your resolve finally dismantled by the siren song of all that flame broiled beef? No, no. Okay, first, do you even have a Burger King's out in the fucking woods? Why do you reference things that obviously aren't in the woods, like terrible burgers? I'll limit my establishments of reference to lumber mills and sugar shanties from now on. Also, there's a Burger King less than 40 minutes from my house. I won't let this stand in the way of the new policy, though. There is? Okay, whatever. I'm talking about a dream I just had. I mean, it was a doggy, like, psychologically speaking. Uh, oh, sorry, whoopsie. <laughs> Who's <Dark>. the doggy? <laughs> <laughs> woof, woof. Uh, doozy is a slight dumber word than whopper. Certainly less delicious. He was absurdly heavy-handed by my subconscious, was really slathering it on, uh, whatever. Like, whatever tangy sludge the king himself squirts on his bur uh, bargain patties. It's possible that I dreamt it ironically, I don't know. I figured you'd be interested in hearing about it. It's every bit as thick and juicy as half a pound of sizzling grade A premium. Okay, this is stupid. We've got to do get the burgers out of this conversation. Are you busy? Yes. Cool, listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> this is making me hungry. Hell yeah. I thought you didn't want me to analyze your dreams anymore. No, but this one is too good not to get put under the microscope with your whole precocious psychotherapy shtick. It's almost laughably symbolic of all my men to have those. Grotesquely pregnant with meaning, all ge uh, gestating at least eight gooey octuplets thrashing around in an undulating belly full of mind slime. Maybe we can start by evaluating that troubling metaphor. 
No, look, I just want your professional take on how many thi uh, things in my dreams are about single <laughs> dicks. <laughs> We've already established that all of your dreams are packed with enough homoerotic symbolism to lift a Freudian theory from the ashes of de 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 discreditation. Yeah, that's a given, but I didn't even dream about puppets this time. Are you serious? I'm clearing my schedule. This is a major breakthrough. I know. It was much more relaxing and enjoyable. It's about me dying repeatedly. Aww, she's making a... a... a weird snowman. <laughs> <laughs> Snow <That's> Lucis. <laughs> Go on. I was in this dark place surrounded by this big flock of crows. God, this is so generically morbid. I'm sorry in advance for explore, uh, exposing you to my unconscious, my stupid cliches. It's okay. They wouldn't be cliches if they didn't com comprise the unanimously understood bedrock of phallic symbolism with no other viable interpretation. Well, obviously I knew the birds were just bla uh, black screaming sky dogs. Just hear me out. I kept dying. There kept being these traps like I would go one way, get my head chopped off, or go another way and get stabbed or whatever. And every time I died, the dream reset itself, and I was standing there alive and ready to try to escape again. But each time, I would be watching myself from the vantage point of a different crow. Like, I was the crow all squawking around in circles like a macabre flat douche. And I would always watch myself try to do something different to dodge the trap, but I always ended up dead. Hmm. Well, if I'd learned anything from my extensive skimming over the Wikipedia articles on dream analysis, it's that this dream is very unlikely to have any literal significance whatsoever. It's probably not about dying at all. You mean, maybe it's about my anxiety over maintaining my blood, or that my beats might not be ill enough? Yes. In fact, if you were on my couch, that would have been the next question, as a licensed professional. Mr. Strider, have you considered that what you actually dread is to have your urban rhythms exposed for what they truly are, which is, clinically speaking, just shy of de bomb? And then we crack up laughing because we both know they're fresher than your mom's change of underwear. And tighter than uh, when she's when she's wearing them. Fuck. <laughs> Listening to you conjure imagery of my mother in her underpants is definitely keeping us buoyed, buoyed high above this swirling fruity, fruity and hellhole. Well done. Please, it's not like she's my mom. I can visualize her choice asshole much more. Oh, forever. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what if you're wrong? About what? Her not being your mother. Uh. Don't worry, you're probably safe. Luckily, I can think of no literary or historical precedent for that sort of folly whatsoever. This isn't the first time you've insinuated we're related. What is up with that? Isn't it? No, I mean, I'm not sure. I feel like you brought it up before, which is kind of weird, but now I don't know. I think I'm getting this weird deja vu thing where I was sure we talked about this. Forget it. Why don't you tell me more about your dream? Okay, so I kept dying and kept the being crows and stuff, and then I started to notice something coming off the sky. It was this faint eerie singing, and I look up and there's nothing. It's just darkness. That's interesting. I've read about this. What did you read? Certain texts say singing from the unknowable void carries a message, that its recipient has been selected for a mission of supreme cosmic importance that will result in your death and that of billions more, but one that is essential to the perpetuation of existence itself. What the fuck sort of crackpot psychology text would say something like that? It's not from a psychology text. So, then you're in consulting astrology books now? Not astrology. More like zoology. Oh my fucking god, will you put that away? Okay. Keep describing the dream, though. If the rest of it is incompatible with prognosis of the zoologically dubious, I will withdraw my insinuation. There's not even much more to it. I looked up into the sky, didn't see anything... But even though the sky was black, I could see the sun. It was bright as hell, even through my shades. So I flapped my wings and flew up to it like a fucking piece of garbage. And that's it. This doesn't strike you as an impulse of self-destruction? No, not in the sense that it was dark sacrificial zoology mission. It's more like somewhere to go besides watching myself die a lot from the of a feather of dumb shitting birds. So, if hypothetically you were to accept such a mission, or even insist upon me, it wouldn't be in the spirit of genuine sacrifice, but of escape? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, something's wrong. This whole conversation is falling. This isn't how it originally went at all. Aw, oh, we were making good progress, too. Why did you have to go and remember? This happened months ago. Does this mean I'm dead? What do you think? 
Stop it. This is sick. You using the dream bubble bullshit to pick apart my psyche. Am I dead or asleep? If you're starting to remember, you should be able to tell me. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe I'm just as confused as you about it. Yeah, right. Am I dead or asleep, Dave? I don't know. Try to remember. Feel free to examine the clippings while I tidy. Where do you want to go next? Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Alright. So everyone, how are you today? Right, is everyone doing good in the chat? Are you enjoying the sad stuff? Are you enjoying the morbid dreams of Dave dying over and over and over? Good. I'm glad. I'm glad all of you are enjoying yourselves. I don't think we're gonna reach Cascade, sadly, but maybe, uh, maybe next stream. There's still a lot to go through. Maybe we'll see the suffer at the very least. I want to see the Grand High Blood one this time, but I don't think he's in this part. Is he? No. Probably not. God, I love the Grand High Blood. Oh my god. Um, well, that wasn't really the plan. The plan was, like, to get through all of Homestuck for 413. We were supposed to be long past Cascade, but it is what it is. The Grand High Dilf, yes. <laughs> Okay. Is it cask? <sighs> Next. I realized we're close. Oh, we were just having a little chat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> some some things coming up. Some things. Yeah. God, Probably I... next stream we're gonna reach a uh, a good moment. Nice. A decent moment. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna click on John. Alrighty. Uh, do you want to read her? The girl? Sure. Hi, John Human. Ah! Oh, this panel's so cool. Oh, neat. That is cool. Uh, excuse me, alien time troll, but I am trying to wrap a present. Really, you all have the worst timing. Yes, I can see that. Two ugly garments and sins, uh, seeds for some kind of strange earth vegetable. Pretty lame present, John. Nope, not going to ask how you know my name or what I'm sending. Don't care. And one of those ugly garments is for me. Also, it's not ugly. It's awesome. Not as awesome as something you will be wearing later, thanks to me. Uh-oh, my mouse is hovering dangerously close to the black button. It always does that when I talk to trolls. It is the dangest thing. Calm down. I just thought I would force out of my you at the. It is way too tempting. Down. Oh shit. Let you know I have taken great care to become a very important feature of your life, or for that matter, to let you know that I'll be giving you a present so much better than that useless crap you're shoveling in that box. I'll be giving you the gift of immortality. Oh sweet, that has been on my wish list, ranking just below a mint condition little monsters poster starring Hollywood superstar Howie Mandel. Can I expect it to arrive on my next birthday? Yes, as a matter of fact, nice guess. It will come at a cost, though. A very Adele poster or immortality? The latter, jackass. In order for you to claim it, you'll have to be quite gullible to allow me to arrange your... I see. Here is where all of the sick trolling begins. You can keep your present. I'm not interested. But you will be. You will happily go along with everything I tell you to do. And then, once I have completely earned your trust, I will kill you, John. <sighs> Another troll I just talked to was way better. If a tad grumpy, at least she was down, down with talking about cool movies, sort of. But this is all true. I've seen it already. You have no idea how delicious the dramatic irony is right now. You will die, I will lead you into a trap, and watch you bleed to death on a big stone slab with a sword stuck in your chest. There is nothing you can do about it. In fact, it has already happened. That's nice. Now scram, troll. I'll leave you alone soon enough. I was just feeling pretty pleased with about all the brilliant plans I'm stopping by in your past to mess with your head and really just a courtesy. 
Because I like to think we're pretty good friends by the time I get around to killing Okay, you got me. My feathers are all ruffled, and I can no longer tell my ass apart from a big orange earth vegetable. Now, can you leave me alone? I guess so, but my inevitable grisly murder of all uh, of you notwithstanding, a pretty fun guy to hassle. It'll be difficult sparing you from the privilege of my company until your game begins. That's basically the worst pickup line I've ever heard. Please, John, as if there is any conceivable sequence of events which we could lead out of it, which could lead me to consider you as a viable romantic in any quadrant, even the pale ones. Uh huh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Blurp derp, blah, more plausible alien sounding things. Were you leaving? Yes. Okay then. I mean, I was going to, but now I guess I'm not. Oh, why? Because this isn't really happening. It isn't? It did once, but now it's just a memory. I guess I must be dead. Uh oh. Okay, is this conversation over now? Can I keep packing my present? The conversation as it went before it is already over. I said goodbye and you blocked me, don't you remember? Well, I was going to block you, but then I didn't for some reason. Exactly, because... We've already been through this. You're either asleep or dead like me. Man, I can't believe I let her trick me like that. It's an amateur mistake. I guess I'm feeling something like deja vu. Maybe. I still don't think I believe you, though. Hey, do you have any recollection at all of the last mess? I don't even know who you are. Yeah, I figured. Just as well. I made some pretty embarrassing confessions to you. I guess I'm getting what I asked for in a way, even though it's not what I pictured. What did you ask for? I asked if you wanted to, you know, hang out? Was this after you killed me and gave me immortality? Yes. So what did you say? Or what do you think you might have said? About what? You mean hanging out? Yeah. Oh god, this is so ridiculous. You're just a crazy troll on the internet, and I need to get back to packing up this present for my friend. We're not going to hang out. I'm sorry. John, there is no present. You are not in your hive, and you don't- She received it a long time ago. None of this matters anymore. If you don't believe me, you are free to look out your window. What would that accomplish? It might help you remember, and you will be able to see me, if you want. Oh, he's looking. He's looking. Whoa, she's outside. Feel free to examine the clipping, I tell you. Alright, we're gonna do Jade. Jade, Jade Dog. Furry Jade. Oh, she's crying. Well, furry Jade is a bit redundant. You just said Jade twice. <laughs> Jade Jade! Uh, John's density knows no bounds. <laughs> She only likes a boombox held above her head. <laughs> Chappy. Uh, do you want to read Jade Sprite or Day? I don't know who's coming up here. Well, who do you want to read? I'll read Jade Sprite, I All guess. Right. Dave? Hey. That's it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, uh... There's two more on this page. I'll do nap it up in the upper right. left. Uh, who is this Nepeta and Jasper Sprite? Um, I guess I'll read Nepeta. Okay. Uh, Jaspers, I guess I should say farewell to you now. Why, Nepeta? Because this is the end of your timeline, and I don't know what cat puns to you after this. I mean, happens to you after this. Hee hee hee. That one was kind of obtuse. Sorry. What's a timeline? Hmm, that's a hard question. Okay, imagine a long, tempting strand of yarn. Yes! Oh, yes! So great! Now, imagine instead of being made of wiggly, enticing stuff, it's made of what lets you exist. And you are right at the twitching tip of it. Don't you see? Look at the sky. Wow, yes, I see the sky. Now the indeed something's going on. But aside from that, I don't really understand what you said being a cat and all. That's fine. You don't have to try too hard. All you have to do is to... All you have to know is 
it's the scratch, and I'm not a hundred percent sure what happens next for you. Purr, purr. I think there is nice how you slip cat things in the things you say. You're so clever and wonderful, Nippa. Hehehehe. <laughs> What's the scratch? Well, you know Rose's friend John. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, of course. Imagine that he is using this great big circle like a really fun scratching post, and it makes all of this light come out that changes everything. Just after he starts doing that, the sky goes funny everywhere, and then I can't see you anymore. Yes. That's what it is. I think that I understand that completely. I'm a bit nervous for you, especially since you remind me so much of someone I already lost. But maybe it'll be okay? I don't know. I'm not worried, Nepeta, so you shouldn't either. It's not as if I have never died before. You are a brave kitty, just like Pounce was. Pounce was a cat like me? Yes, she was amazing. I bet you and she would have gotten along famously. Famously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet you're right. Prr, prr. Was she nice to sniff? Yes, she smelled really good, and also she was super beauty. Oh, you did not just put the word yip in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nephita, come on, man. Get fucking real. Don't have to be so obvious. <laughs> wow. Did you ever have someone nice back on Earth who you loved? Rose! I loved Rose. Hehe, <laughs> of course you did. I mean, a nice cat who was your mate spirit. There was a time, I remember, I was thinking about a girl cat a lot for some reason. I would saunter around the house, making all these big meows, and looking out the window with my nose, touching the glass. But then Rose's mom took me to this place where I was scared to be for a little while. And then, when I was at home again, I didn't do the meows anymore. I guess I didn't think about the girl cats after that, which is just as well, because none of ever came to the window, really. Not even when I did my biggest meow. <laughs> this is talks about getting... This is him getting neutered. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's too bad, but I bet a lot of girl cats would have loved to be with you if only there had been some around to hear your lovely meows. You're really nice to say so, Nepeta. What about you, though? Me? Yes. Well, I have never told anybody this, not even my Moira. <laughs> Actually, he's the last guy I might tell, so he wouldn't approve. But yes. I have liked somebody for quite some time, but alas, he doesn't know it. Why don't why don't uh, why don't you tell him? Hmm. Maybe you can win his affection by rubbing your against him. That's what I would do. Oh no 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 no! I'm too shy for even for that. And he is so adorably grumpy all the time. It probably wouldn't go over well. It's hard to explain. Maybe cats think differently, but trolls tend to be pretty cautious about expressing their feelings when it comes to the flush quadrant. What's a quadrant? Fuck it, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is, um, okay. It has romantic applications, but it's also something more general than that. A quadrant is, how do I say this? Um... A quadrant is a thing and a group of things that consists of four similar things. Like paws? Exactly like paws. I see. That's really easy to get. I think you should tell him that you like him. You might not get the chance if you don't. For instance, I think instead of meowing at window, I should have just scurried out the door before he could close. Then I might have found a girl cat to sniff. Oh well. I know. It's just not that simple. I could make someone else jealous, I think, and what if he doesn't feel the same way, and uh, it's so complicated. Maybe I just need to let go of the silly infatuation. I think it's never going to happen, honestly. You shouldn't lose hope. I have another story that might give you hope, even though it should be noted again that I'm only a cat. Oh? Yes. One time I was with Rose, and I was sitting there, dressed up in my suit, with her as a happy... Then she disappeared. The whole place disappeared, and I was in another place. There was no Rose. There was someone else. I guess I loved her too, in time, but never as much as Rose. It just wasn't the same. I kept waiting to see Rose again, but never did. And finally, I lost hope that I would ever... And then I died. But then I became alive again, 
and I got to see her, and I was so happy. Brrr. That's my story, and that's why I think there's always hope, even if you die. So, you're saying that maybe I will have to die to get to be with him? Yes, maybe. I hope that's not the case, but I guess you just have a different way of looking at things. Thank you for the advice, Jaspers. Brrr. <laughs> that was a painful conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but Arsha loved it. <laughs> and Ender. You TFO. <laughs> uh, uh, one last one. Purple thing. Yes, purple thing. <gasps> oh, my boys. That's me as in the in the front and then that's Nels <laughs> behind me trying to get my attention. Well, that's me in the corner. Making, <laughs> making... <in> spotlight. <laughs> yeah. Losing your religion. My religion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do we got? Oh, he's picking his pocket. Come on. Yeah, he's being a little bitch. What a little bitch. Oblivious. Chase, 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 chase. Has the wallet. Secret ambush. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that, that's all of them, right? Yeah. Yep. Try to make sense of this mess yourself. We got more. We got more. Yeah. Uh, um, is there I'd a suggestion? I do have to go. Unfortunately. So. Oh, you gotta go. Uh, not now. In a few minutes. So I think. Let's, okay. Uh, continue with like Rose and Dave's conversation because it's my favorite. Okay, we'll do Dave up in the right. The right with Dave Sprite. Yes. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm fucking dying, dude. <laughs> uh, yes. Been better. What happened to you? What happened to you? Um, I died in my dream and came back as a dog. Oh, I turned into a bird and got in a fight. Hmm. What is that? What's this thing? Yes. What, this thing? <laughs> Legendary sword. How did you get it? Long story. Shenanigans mostly. Yes, I figured shenanigans are probably involved. Can you be more specific? Well, basically I'm from another timeline. We couldn't win the game there, so I came back to help Dave. Dave? Dave from this timeline. As a sprite, I'm supposed to help him with the quest. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to help Jade, too, but... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> She's doing all right. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'll try. You were saying? So, things kind of became even more crazy in this timeline than the one I was from. And it was clear Dave was never going to do the quest I didn't get uh, get the chance to finish. Not even after you brought the frog, brought the, bleh, brought the forge. Fuck. The forge? Your volcano. Oh. So, after laying low for a while, I just went and did whatever I did myself. Got... Uh, it's fucking, fucking weird. well sword Dave broke. Went to look for Hephaestus again, thinking there wasn't much hope in beating him this time either. Especially being injured and all, but what the hell, right? But then, that's when you lit the forge somehow. I did? Well, no. Not you. Other Jade. Yeah. She's a lot more brave than me, I think. She brought me back thinking I could help her, and all I did was disappoint her and everyone else. You came back as a sprite, and you're managing to do important things. But I just feel so scared and helpless. Uh, good. Sounds like you <laughs> came back because Jade made the decision for you. I made the decision to come back myself. It'd be different if you had the same, cho uh, same chance. I don't know if I would have... I don't know if I would have... Wait, what? I don't know if I would have if I had had the chance, but I would like to not feel so useless to everybody. I think everyone's on top of this. There's not much for us to do anymore. What about your sword? Isn't it important? I guess so, but not really for me since I'm not the real... I'm still not sure how you got it. What does it have to do with my volcano? That's a bit complicated. See, it turns out, I had no idea how the denizens worked. Uh, we could do one more. Okay, which one would you suggest? Rose. Rose and Dave down here? Yeah. Okay. Uh... I love the, uh, fuckery of space and time in the <laughs> All right, I'll do Rose if you want to start us off. All right. Um, 
I remember waking up here. Oh, yeah. After getting shot. Yes. What else? Then the cage bunny came. He gave us the bomb. Where'd he go anyway? She's around. The bunny's a she? Her name is Liv Tyler. Dumb. Take it up with John. What else? We were talking about who should go. Do you remember what we decided? No. Wait. Wasn't I going to go? Isn't that what happened? Did I go? Now, uh, and now I'm dead? Not quite. What's not quite? That it didn't go or that I'm not dead? Do you remember anything else? No. What about why you went to fight Jack? Sure. I did that. Because I wanted to. Because I was supposed to. Are you sure? Yeah, I saw my future self fighting him. Or else I'd be dead anyway. Without even getting with the satisfaction of stating up. So, was your decision a result of desire or obligation? Hard to explain. With all the time shit going on, I don't try to understand your light shit, do I? I don't know much about the light shit, to be honest. I may have missed my chance to figure it out. Haven't we had this conversation already? Mostly. I'm doing what I can to jog your memory. It's jogging, I guess. It's man boobs are jiggling. Nice. So, what about Jade? What? You didn't tell her your expedition with her would result in your death, let alone one she'd inadvertently cause, or that she'd be stuck with the job of resuscitating you, did you? What am I really supposed to say? Hey, we're gonna hunt frogs till you get shoot me, and then I die, and you have to got, and then you've got to make out with me. That kind of changes the how things well. Uh, kind of changes how the whole thing goes, doesn't it? Not if you're supposed to, right? What does that even mean? I guess you're right. No reason to make an effort to empathize if doing so comes at the price of oblivion. What the fuck? It must be comforting to have your ASPD tacitly supported by predestination. Aspid? Antisocial personality disorder. Oh no, this conversation just got bum-rushed by a mudslide of fucking awful. It wasn't already awful believing you might be dead? You don't know anything about what I was feeling or what happened on Lufaf. You were all pavement faced with battling your uh, throw fester, speaking, flipping off the shit with your crazy death wish thing. Uh, thing. Why do you think you know what's going through my head? You're just assuming and throwing around a psyche buzzword, ASP to complex disorder. So it's a disorder, a complex, and then disorder again for good measure. In your case, probably. Sounds like a positively delirious state of existence. It's some deliriously biz nasty, all right. Oh snap. Yes, I'm a authorized. God damn, you may sway, uh, swipe it at the door to check yourself. <laughs> Might you loosen the purse strings on an, oh no he didn't? Nah, those are kept in the emergency reserve. Anyway, I'm telling you, if I said anything, she probably did gun once. And I'm all done is drag. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I said anything, she probably doesn't need to fire her gun once and all done, uh, doing is dragging her into a doomed timeline. I'm a professional voice actor. I, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm learning to be impressed by your sense of obligation to inevitable misfortune. It's a strange case of inspiration through futility. None of this is that big of a deal. I just mentioned that basics to her. Then I'd stop time traveling soon. Break out of the loops. I'd have to wonder all the time if I was to return and doing everybody. I was, I was never that cool. With what exactly? You know how you turned out to be this incredibly sh failed at that in every way imaginable. Hey. Well, maybe I never want to be a knight of time. Maybe I'd rather just be like the Dave of Guy, you know, to some <laughs> dude. Those, these really do not sound like words of someone ready to face his own death. The kind you don't wake up from, I mean. I guess not. Because I failed my quest then, so I'm like, not what, now what bitches? To nobody in particular, I guess. The unseen bitches callously comp conspiring to expect greatness from you? Yes, those exact bitches. If that's how you feel, then why did you insist on going to on the mission to deliver to what is that? <laughs> the tumor? <laughs> Black and white and fur. Giant yin yang bomb. Oh yeah, I remember that now. I guess it's what happened. I delivered the bomb and now I must be dead. Are you sure? Is that wrong? Maybe you should try to answer the question. Why did you want to go? Because I made the map so I know how to get there better. But it seems simple enough. A set of bearings to follow. See, the application pilots the moon. Change course when necessary. Anyone can do it, really. We talked about this. Debated, if you recall. Okay, if you remember it, also clearly why you this shit. You just tell me what's going on. 
I'm just seeing if you can remember, and if you're sticking to your story about why you should be the one to go. Well, I am. Because I should. Should have. And what the fuck is going on? Am I dead, or are you dead, or what? You're almost there, really. Just try to remember a little more. What happened after we decided you'd go? Uh, oh yeah, we were trying to figure out a way to detach the moon so I could pile it up, fly it into the sun. But the chain was huge. Couldn't think of how to break it. Then out of nowhere, this sword appears in this, uh, in the thing. So I'm thinking, obviously, I have to break the sword somehow. Because that's all I fucking do is break swords. But as I'm thinking of how to do it, I put my hand on it, and it just snaps off with this comic shatter. Like it just fucked up some priceless shit and See, like that. Like I did again, just there with my hand, because of dream bubbles. Or how that happened. Mm-hmm. Then I took it and sliced a chain, like this. Damn. It still cuts like a pl uh, plowing through a shaft of zombie meat. Careful, I just managed to quell my appetite after all that burger talk. Whoops, yeah. So then, the moon started drifting away, and I was going to fly up, and then take it to the sun. And when I said something to you, or I was going to, like say bye or something, but you were just standing there not saying anything. And that ball of yarn. And then, oh, god, that's right. Come on, knocking me out so he can steal a suicide mission? God damn it, this is so trite. I really am sorry for that. It's like, here's how bad this is. Here we are basically Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck from John's shitty crappy movie. He made this even more forget it than it already was, sealing me in the airlock with Tyler and have the most terrible babies with her. If it's any consolation, Liv Tyler came with me on the suicide mission. The bunny or the actress? Which would make you feel better. You not knocking me out with a ball of fucking yarn is fucking what? If I could have chosen a method of sparing your life, you might have found more awesome. I would. Is there a more ironic way to do that? This probably comes close, but that doesn't make it not lame as hell. Does it matter if I took some personal satisfaction seeing you fall unconscious at the gentle glance of a soft cotton globe? It's cool you're tick uh, tickled by this. Hope I brought brought you a lot of red laughs on your fucking explode. Hmm. That's it. I'm actually lying here on Durst asleep. You went on here to blow up the sun. Now you're dead, and I'm dreaming, chilling with your smug ghost. Yes, to the first part. So, you're not dead? Not yet. Then you're dreaming. What are you taking a little nap on the moon? Afraid not. I am wide awake. Try to make uh, sense of this. So, Rose is awake, Dave is asleep, and... Yeah, they're talking. So, let's see how that goes. I gotta go. Okay, thanks for joining today, Marcus. I will uh, you. stay safe, wash your hands or whatever. I'll definitely be very, very sick. Oh, no. <laughs> We're all gonna be sick. <laughs> now the stream's in fact. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, right, bye -bye. cool. Bye, Marcus. <laughs> Uh, I am going to invite Eldridge and Arsha in for this last little bit. <sighs> okay, sorry. We only have a little bit left. Hold on, give me just a minute. <sighs> okay. Uh... What's the best way to do this? Okay, sorry. And... Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Oh. <clears throat> hey, Arsha. Oh my god, I just threw myself on the stream. <laughs> I'm <get> that. <laughs> oh no. All right, so we have Arsha, and we have Eldridge for this last bit. Um, we got about half an hour, so we're on, if you guys, on 38.95. Um, gotcha. And I am going to click on John and... Vasca. Vasca. Um, do you guys want to read this one? I can take John. I can read this. Great. Okay. 
So, it seems that you are, in fact, an alien with horns and everything. Huh. Yes, John. Horns and all. That simply proves I am an alien beyond a shadow of doubt. And now that... Now what do you make of these blank white eyes of mine? What do you think that could mean? Hmm? I don't know. Aliens usually have big spooky eyes, don't they? Humans have literally the dampest like, extraterrestrial lore. Weren't you? Weren't those supposed to be aliens on one of your posters? <laughs> you mean Mac and me? <laughs> yeah, even I can admit that movie was indefensible. Well, if you want to know, normally we have bright orange eyes with great gray irises. They fill in with our blood pigment as we got older. Also, normally I have this one goofy eye with seven pupils because I'm kind of a weirdo. But I guess that's a gun now that I'm dead. Not sure you believe me. Uh, not that you believe me, because you just refuse to remember anything. I can accept that you're an alien, but come on. Me, an alien who is also a ghost in my front yard, is a bit much to believe. It is almost too awesome. <laughs> so you don't remember anything about the game at all then? The destruction of your planet? Bringing your ancestor back to life as a clown woman? <laughs> <laughs> Putting a huge flaming ocean out with your magical wind? Jack Noir? Dying, resurrecting, and possibly dying again? Is any of this tickling your sponge? Hmm... Nope. Sounds cool, though. Fuck, I cannot believe how cold it is on this planet. How can any species possibly be able to survive somewhere like this? Yeah, I thought you looked pretty cold out here. So I brought you this jacket. Oh, okay. Hey, your clothes switched suddenly. Was that some kind of alien wardrobe warpifying technology? Such as a warp drobe, if you will? Sure, John. Let's just say that's what it is. You look pretty cool in more normal clothes. Not that your space boots and pixie outfit weren't neat. Thanks. So is this how humans begin a nerd date? <laughs> With simple acts of flattery and kindness? Uh, I don't know about that, really. It just seemed like the nice thing to do. Is, is this a date? No, I've decided this definitely will not be a date. Not until you remember something, at least. Okay, that's probably for the best. I'd probably be pretty nervous on a date with a normal girl, let alone on a date with an alien space ghost. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, me too, probably. Your goofy awkwardness is a bit contagious, frankly. So, now what do we do? Well, since I'm presuming you are new to the planet, I can show you around the place. This is my green slime ghost pogo ride, in all its glory. In my childhood, it was hours of fun and hundreds of painful injuries. Hey, this thing isn't slimy at all. What the hell? Nope. <laughs> I've noticed humans don't seem to keep any slime around the hive, and yet you are strangely cavalier about your open display of certain receptacles. <laughs> What's the deal with that? Isn't that you're just that ashamed of your sec secretions as a species? Um, not really? Humans just don't really have much use for slime, I guess. Honestly, I can't think of a single practical use for slime, other than to be gross. So bizarre. Anyway, this thing is kind of a death trap, and I haven't read it in for years. I think my dad had it installed as one of his ridiculous ways of making a man out of me. Sure, my custodian had her ways of making me tougher too. Yeah, parents, right? <laughs> anyway, that's my backyard. Pretty damn boring, sorry. I would show you inside, but I don't think my dad would take too kindly to bring an alien inside. Or just yet. I would need a brazen for it. That's fine. What else can you show me? I could show you around my neighborhood if you want. Sounds These are my neighbors, who live in a lot of same-looking houses as mine. I never see them. I think they're all pretty early bees of people with a lot of serious business to attend to. Hey, look! Snow has melted over here. It's really warm suddenly. Weird. Does your planet usually have this kind of temperature swings? Uh, this is pretty unusual December weather. I guess I'll take my coat off. 
I can take yours back if you want. No thanks. I'll keep it on. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, that looks pretty. That is pretty. Yeah. It's been oh. so long since I've seen some of these pages. But it's like, there's his world that's the weird world around it. Oh, it's, part, it's a dream bubble. So, it's oh. his memories and her... Well, actually, looks like it's all his memories right now. I with the, see. the snowy time, the non-snowy time, and some of his planet. Yeah, I was like, that's his planet. The non-snowy time. <laughs> Probably spring. Um... There's not really much to see in this town, but there are these lakes. It's like here did not used to be a lake a long time ago. Before I was born, there was a factory here. My dad says there was a huge explosion. He was walking by with my nana when he saw it. Then a little later, my nana died. My dad never told me how, except that it involved a big joke book. I never saw her, which is too bad. It sounded nice. I know what happened. I saw it. You did? Yes, do you want to know? It might jostle your memory. Okay. I believe this lake is where Jade landed. You landed a little ways over there, about where your hive is now. You clobbered your nana to death with a aforementioned joke book. But it wasn't your fault. You are both just little wigglers riding meteors from the future. Of course. You created yourself, your nana, Jade, her grandpa. Not to mention Dave and Rose and their guardians, all in a late you late lab. Okay, <laughs> on the, all in the lab using paradox slime and send them back in time as the two arms and legs you call babies. And here you were doubting the usefulness of slime. <laughs> wow, really? Yes, absolutely. I paid close attention to all this because I thought it might give me some clues about. Us and our ancestors who are made the same way. Any of this familiar? Hmm. That all sounds incredible if true. But I don't have any of the foggiest memory of that happening. Yeah, I figured as much. Since you seem s b bent on staying in your dream bubbles, comma, why don't you I continue the tour? The tour of Earth? So What's happening? We're going on an adventure. Where? Through your memories. Through mine too. This would be a really fun thing to do on a date, I think. If we actually were on a date, which we are not. <laughs> <laughs> How is this happening? Is this through the advanced alien technologies? Like holograms or teleportations? If that's what you want to think to keep your coffee in your stupor, sure. Where are we? This is my home planet before it was destroyed. It's called Alternia. Oh, cool. And what's that over there? That is my hive, which is a thing that you refer to as a house. It's where I grew up. It's a castle. It's a castle. <laughs> no shit. It is big and forebonding and ostentatious, ostentatious, just the way I wanted it. As a blue blood, I was entitled to build such a home, something to set me far apart from the commoners. You built it? Of course not. Roberts built it for me when I was very young, but I was allowed to, dis to, dis to dictate instructions, expected to in fact. Oh gosh, so rad. Really? I still find it interesting what sort of mundane facts humans tend to be impressed by. Anyway, my design kind of got boring as I got older. A huge castle, castle hive sounds great, but it starts feeling pretty cavernous and lonely after a while. There are so many blocks I never even used. Your tastes change, but you get stuck with growing up in a place suited to your earliest, most juvenile inclin inclinations. Nobody tells you that when you're a kid, though. I think I know what you mean. I feel like a long time ago, I might have given my dad the impression I really liked clowns. Now there are clowns everywhere. This stupid collection just keeps growing and growing. It drives me crazy. John, that barely comparable <clears throat> example is so cute, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> 
Oh, oh shit. I'll crash. <laughs> <laughs> this was my custodian. Bo! Wait, no. <laughs> Bo! <laughs> she was hurt 80. in an accident. I killed her myself to put her out of mi her misery. Aww. Holy shit, look at those glittering space ridges! Yeah, I was really into treasure hunting for a while. Those are the broken eight balls. Never mind those! <laughs> This was my res respite block. From kind of an embarrassing memory, actually. <laughs> More eight balls. You sure do like to smash them. John, addiction is a powerful thing. You probably wouldn't understand. What are you wearing? Just a fairy dress. I wore it for this stupid thing I did once. <laughs> is that a rocket car stuck in the window over there? What's that about? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Man, this would be such an awkward moment on the day. <laughs> Again, if it was one. There's something really familiar about that rocket. Let's <laughs> going. Oh god, trippy. Ooh. What's happening? Are we back on Earth? You tell me. It's my house again. Why are we here? I'm having fun seeing your planet. I don't know, John. They're your memory. This is my dad's room, but I've never been inside of it, so why do I recognize it? Shrug! I think there are some birthday presents for me in here, uh, but I can't recall which birthday that was. It was your 13th. But I'm 12. Oh god, he's 12. <laughs> he's 12, what is this? Oh yeah, I remember this! Uh, there are these imps all over my house, acting all rambunctious. But why? It's all so hazy. Where's my dad? Sounds like some things are coming back to you. Any chance you remember me yet? No, sorry. No. Oh, kinda sad. <laughs> yeah, I just... <laughs> just a little bit. I'm not very sad for risk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Briska. Oh god, he's 12. Hey look, that's my dad! What's he doing here? Uh, I've missed the heck out of him. I'm not sure why. He should be safe at home right now. I guess I must have lost track of him? I don't remember how. All I know is I have this feeling I should run over and give him a hug. Well, just so you know, he's probably not actually there. Kind of like how my Lucis was just a memory. Are you a psychic alien? Uh, like the one with who Jodie Foster met in contact and assumed the form of her dead father to talk to her? As a matter of fact, yes, I am a psychic alien, but that has nothing to do with this. These are our memories, and we are in the afterlife. I keep trying to tell you, and it's starting to get frustrating. I see. So it is not me who is Jodie Foster, it's more like you are Jodie Foster, because nobody believed her when she came home and had amazing tales to tell, except Matthew McConaughey. <sighs> but it's okay, I will be your Matt McConaughey. Does that mean you'll believe me now? I guess I always did, sort of. I think I might have been in denial about what's happening here. It's nice that you believe me, but that doesn't mean you remember yet. So, if this isn't my dad, then where is he? He died too. You saw his body. Don't you at least remember that? No, not at all. I am remembering a bunch of things, but not that. Then what? Do you remember me yet? No. I remember when you contacted me and said you'd kill me a little earlier. Uh, but that was months ago. I didn't remember talking to some other trolls like you and playing this game. It was on my 13th birthday. I was really looking forward to playing it, but it was late in the mail. I got some presents from my dad, like this big weird clown doll that I didn't like much, and some fruit gushers. I also realized gushers were made by Betty Crocker. That freaked me the fuck out. Did you realize Betty Crocker makes gushers? This comes as news to me. Well, she does! Her villainy knows no bounds. Oh, he also gave me the suit, which I remember wearing for a while, uh, but I didn't look quite like this. It had a black tie and no ghost, so I improved it. Actually, I remember dying in a suit. 
You do? But this is not the suit I was wearing when I died. This was. Welp. <laughs> uh, By the way, uh, oh. ghosts don't... Um, in Dream Bubbles and everything, ghosts don't lose their pupils until they realize that they've died. Oh, I see. Which is why he had his eyes the entire time, and so you don't know if he's dead or dreaming or anything like that until... Sure, once he realizes, right. then his pupils go away. He's had the realization. Oh. Yum, antimatter. High popping <laughs> at the end of my class is over. Oh, yay. <sighs> Uh, yeah, uh, also Israeli guy, 15, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm the one who's blind reading. Everyone else is just helping me through this. Um, but I have not read Homestuck before. Everyone else pretty much has. Uh, there's the ship and there's the hat. We'll do the hat. Okay. Here it flies. Oh, Nana. Wait, what is on the... What's on the car? Is it's it the phone. PDA? Oh. Yes. PDA. That's what I said. I <laughs> That's one. what I meant. Uh, and then the sh the purple one. If you remember last, uh, last time we saw it, John had, in a fit of rage, thrown it into the sea of oil. Uh, and then it was like, well, fuck, I just threw my, my Why phone. Why did I do that? My PDA. <laughs> oh, I just grabbed that RAR. Here's the dick crotch add-on. Perp had to leave. Okay. Sweet. I see. I must have missed that. Yeah. I installed it and I was reading with y'all and then I forgot I had it and was like, wait, a crotch? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm going to have to install that after the stream. Uh, everyone's going to be like, what's wrong with your, what's your, your version? Dick crotch. <laughs> um, it should be. It's, uh, we're, just, we're just making some uh, last minute edits to... <laughs> We're patching it. <laughs> patching it in. Uh, okay, I'm gonna click the little lower left corner one. Okay. The little guy. Oh yeah, he tried to get... He's pickpocketed. Oh, pick again. <laughs> Remove. Put back. Uh, he's lost in the sauce up here. And he's escaping. Total the, success. Wall just, the wall just Yay. keeps shifting hands. <laughs> so he thinks he stole it. But yeah. really. Yeah, and he's got what looks like the tumor? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. Another interruption. Oh, oh, more. Holy cow. Um yeah, there's let's see how many more of these are. There's 1 2 3 4 there's four more of those fl uh, pages where you click on panels. Nice. Oh, great. currently on. Rice milk. Yes, this is the huge bitch shirt. I'm really excited about it. It says huge bitch, blah, blah. And we have Vriska and, uh, and huge bitch over here. Snowman. Snowman. Yes. And I'm sure that by wearing this in public, I will only attract the best of friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for so many reasons I feel like this sh this shirt is like uh, I'll both attract like homestuckers and then also the, the eyes of people that are really confused and upset by the fact that I'm wearing a shirt that says huge bitch and <laughs> wait what does dick crotch do doc scratch dick crotch yeah so yum anim antimatter so basically what that is is it's a um, dick scratch yeah we were in, in tuesday's stream we were saying like how it'd be funny if there was an add-on that changed every instance of doc scratch to to dick dick crotch and and every instance of crotch or oh god it's, it's like confusing now every <laughs> of the scratch to crotch because I, I read it wrong because there were other Letters. Yeah, and so now it's now it's uh now it's a real thing, but it just yeah, changed. Like Marsha, I th it was an accident. <laughs> now it's immortalized. You'll attract homestucks and repel normal people. Yeah, this this shirt could really ruin my life, guys, um, because <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna Where it's an interview. right it's gonna re it's gonna repel anyone who could be a positive influence in my life. 
And well, we were going to hire you, <laughs> but we saw your shirt and we decided to take, take <laughs> this advice. We're not really sure about that. If being normal we're means not, really not sure being about it. Sick, then I will never be normal again. <laughs> honestly, okay. Honestly, Homestuck ruins a lot of shit that you look at in normal day to day life after you read it. Like, you can't look at the Zodiac the same way. You can't look at just playing cards or and pool the same way. It just fuck, it fucks up everything. You look yeah. at buckets and crap like that. It's like, oh, Homestuck. Homestuck. Homestuck is here. Keep saying things like, oh, just like in Homestuck. And my friends are like, I've never read Homestuck once again. <laughs> <laughs> like, once again, Arsha. <laughs> A lot of songs are suddenly terrifying to hear in public. Frogs, chess, the word abscond. <laughs> yes. Homestuck oh, ruins God, your life right. and gone. Homestucks improve your life. Yeah, yes. I feel like... Uh, it's definitely going to be one of those things that once I'm done, like, I'll be like, I read Homestuck. Never, everyone I know will be like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, yeah. like, whatever, man. <laughs> uh, I need to take a picture of Betty Crocker Isle in Dollar Tree every time I go there. <laughs> oh, God, that's right. Betty Crocker, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay, we and can probably... That, and that joke doesn't stop. The Betty Crocker joke doesn't stop. It never stops. It never it, stops. Throughout Homestuck, it, it, that joke con uh, continues. Or that gag. We could probably read off this page. do one... Um, I would... Let me look at... Are like, any Nana's, of these short? Uh, I think Nana is a short, but definitely the uh, the top right one will probably have no text. Let's just... Let me look at it. Oh, no, never mind. That's not the one I thought it was. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna. It's a, wait, no, I clicked the wrong one. Dang it, I clicked on Dave and Rose. Yeah, I assume I, I assume that one doesn't have much text, just because it's the top right one, just because it has characters that don't speak. Is Homestuck good? Homestuck is really, 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 really good. Is Homestuck bad? Homestuck so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Viz interview. That was really fun. Like, yeah, it was nice. It was good. <laughs> yeah, there's no text in the top right one. It sucks. You it's all it. panels. In the oh, I, I, sh I should read the, this page first. Okay, read this it, page. All right. So you seen the banner? Oh yeah. There's like there we go. bang, 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 bang. Oh, wonderful! Another interruption. It seems she's acting out again. <clears throat> Sorting these clippings, we'll have to wait while I set her hold down. I apologize profusely. Please continue to help yourself to the serviceable arrow command in my absence. As a first-class host, I keep a healthy supply on hand at all times. <laughs> I'm going to look right. at this upper right. Oops, did I click on the wrong one? Yeah, I clicked on Dave Rose. Yeah, oh, wait. That you... uh, yeah, it, look, it looks like on. it's broken a I'll little bit. I'll be right bit. back. Hold on. Okay. Are we clicking on the spaceship one? Yeah, the spaceship one. <laughs> it's, like, weird. Like, the... Whatever the coding is to make sure you click on the 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 right oh, panel and everything, it's just broken here. Probably from the translations from Clash to HTML5. Guys up. Yeah, it's just too big. It's like, don't click on them. Click on Dave and Rose. <laughs> hitboxes. <laughs> Bad hitboxes. Not no, tasty arrows. Yeah, they're just in the ball, and they're blue. I'm sure they taste like a nice snack. Like, mm, like. To quote Hussey, is Homestuck good? Homestuck is really, 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 really good. Is Homestuck bad? Homestuck's so bad. Yep. Okay. Alright, I'll look at this last one. With the zoomy thing. Yeah, you gotta click all the way in the top right of that panel, though. Oh, there you got it. Yeah, mission accomplished. Oh, he's telling him. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and so dumb. Uh, friendly enemies are here. It's still missing, though. Wait, this thing's gone, too. Actual yeah. mission. <laughs> <Dead>. <laughs> Oh, he's so mad. And he's out of there. He's like, oh shit, my wallet. He's just, he just looks kind of smiley. 
Yeah, like, oh, oh it's yeah. not scary. Wallet's gone. But he's got oh, a got ring. the ring. Huge relief. Aww. Notice. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, he, he mad. Oh, he mad. Oh, and I boom. <gasps> oh, shit. That was where oh, we were. Oh, wonderful. Another interruption. And I well, we know he ain't dead. Yet. Uh, yep. How long is the stream going? A little more than two hours. Yeah, we do. So, Israeli guy, we do... I've been doing the blind reads 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, so, that's the end of today's stream. We did so many guests. I don't know why I can't stop yawning. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, thank We're you. We're getting pretty close. Yeah. Thank you guys for jumping in. Thanks to Marcus, who is no longer here. And, uh, Marcus is dead. Marcus is no longer <laughs> with us. <laughs> Sometimes I can still hear his voice. <laughs> I can still hear his honks. <laughs> <laughs> it's the like best honking sound I can make with my mouth. Other than, oh! Oh, that's. Marcus. Uh, go with God. Uh, okay, who's cool. on tu Who's on for Tuesday? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I gotta figure that out sometime. But I've received some messages from my boss in the interim who is, seems to not remember that I was streaming and does not seem very happy right now. So I got to <laughs> fucking go. I don't think he thinks I'm at work. Um, all right, guys. Uh, thank you for coming. And I will see you on Tuesday. I'll figure out what's going on next week later. Uh, and Thanks, hang back for a second, Arsha and Aldrich. And I will end the stream. Okay, bye, guys. I got to go. Bye. bye.